So I'm gonna show you guys some fall fruits that we have that should potentially ripen um, at the end of the season, or like I said, sometime in the fall. We have some persimmons that have set. There was a lot of flowers on these trees really not that long ago. And if I go on the other side, you'll see more of the fruits that have set. It's just that uh, there's a lot of crap in the way. But we don't have too many persim or too many pomegranates, and that's kind of the problem with the pomegranates, is that they don't set fruit very well, and they always end up typically dropping a lot of their flowers. And I don't know why that is. I think it might have something to do with light. It might have something to do with a lack of pollinators, but I have left some of these plants alone and they just pollinate themselves. Others, I feel the need to uh, pollinate them myself. This is the dessertney pomegranate. I think there's a couple more in there somewhere and I hope they didn't, they didn't drop in, the, in a very recent time. Here is um, the jujube and it is just loaded to the gills, this potted tree here. Uh, I have, uh, I think over here is sugar cane or honey jar, honey jar and zuzhou. I think it's honey jar. I think this one here is honey jar and it just really does perform super well. Whereas I have um, some other jujubes in the ground and they're still kind of digging themselves in and I hope after they get their act together, they're going to of course, um, fruit more reliably uh, you know and of course by the way we have figs that are ripening you know this is technically a fall fruit even though I am getting a lot of these guys in the summer you know, I work hard to get those fruits in the summer but we're also getting persimmons and um, we did recently a persimmon tour if you guys saw that but over here, just very briefly, we don't have many fruits on these trees. They're quite young, and really it takes persimmons about five to seven years before they start to produce, but we have a decent crop this year. I'm pretty happy with what I've got. This is a proc, and it will ripen sometime very soon. It's mid-August right now, and that thing usually ripens at the end of August, early September, if I'm not mistaken here. I even have a celebrity persimmon, as you can see. Um, and then what else is pretty cool is that I have some apples this year. Oddly enough, my apples just did not want to produce. Um, they really didn't flower. All these trees back in here just uh, seem to have like a weird biennial habit, I guess, with them. I did cut off a lot of the tips, so maybe that had something to do with it. Um, but you could see apples back here. This is the variety Hawaii. They're not exactly ready. Uh, well, this one just came off real easy. So let me eat this now. And we can see, uh, get an idea of the seeds from this particular apple. It's quite good. Very fresh. I don't think it's ready just yet. Um, I don't think the color's right. Let me see if I can find seeds, hold on. Yeah, so you can see the seeds on the inside. They're brown, a little bit of white in there, so they're not black yet. And that to me is just an indicator that the apple is just not ready. It's weird because it just came right off. I mean, you guys saw that. I had a very, very light lift. I didn't tug it at all and it just came right off. Um, back in here, I also have some fall grapes. What are fall grapes? Well, they are the muscadine. This is a very shaded area back here. But I have two muscadine grapes that are putting out a lot of a lot of growth, a lot of grapes. I'm um, relatively impressed. I've been trying real hard to get the 
the vines over over top of the fence and I should have a wire system here give them more light but I'm really busy right now these are not that far away oddly enough and then of course back in here this is not technically a fall fruit but these are my European grapes and they're all bagged if I don't bag them they will all get black rot you can see I, I did a little sneak peek in there. They're green, and they're not even black yet. So we still have a couple more weeks to go. Probably another week before they turn black. Maybe another week and a half, eh, seven to 14 days. And then we have to wait a little bit for them to really start to sweeten up. The longer those grapes hang on those vines, the sweeter they get, the much better they are. All right keep going by the way I wouldn't really call peaches a uh, fall fruit but I do have a peach that's ripening it will ripen in the fall um, it's called uh, Indian free it ripens sometime in September and although September isn't I don't think technically the fall I forget when the exact date is it's September 22nd or something like that but at least for me the fall really starts here September 15th and I have Alberta that's ripening here probably in the next two or three weeks these will start turning color and they'll start getting soft and then of course I want to show you this pomegranate this is just my Salabotsky it's in this corner it's a little shaded by these fig trees but it survives the winter and this is, I think it's third year in the ground. So I, I expect next year to really see a lot of fruits off of this thing. It's really taken up some size. And I would expect that to ripen sometime September, October, November. You know, I have a couple friends that have a Salabotsky in the ground in this area and they get pretty good fruits, you know, like 20, 30 pomegranates off their trees. It's pretty respectable. I mean, we're in zone seven Philadelphia area. That's pretty insane. This here is uh, my pears. So, you know, again, maybe technically not a fall fruit, but this, I think this one's called Shajoro, and they're starting to get orange. You know, I noticed I was out here with my cousin showing her around because she's getting the bug with all this crap that's going on with COVID. She's finally gotten the bug, I think to uh, live a bit more holistically. And these fruits just look great. I mean, the color is great, but I picked one of them and they were just not ready. So I'm a bit surprised to be perfectly honest. Um, and they didn't come off, they're not coming off very easily. So I guess they're still a bit green maybe. But once they lose that green and they start to turn more orange, they're real ready and they're really good. That's one of my favorites. So yeah, that's technically August. These pears are very similar. We're waiting again for this to just come off super easy, even though this one came off and now I'm a bit worried. We're going to let this one ripen, I guess, on the counter. We'll see what the deal is. But a lot of these fruits, I mean, when you pick them, they really should just come off very, very easily. The European pear can be a bit tricky. What is the variety of this one here? Let me find out. Oh, this is Harrow Sweet. So this should be a very good pear. And I've got quite a few of them here. The stem is extremely long. I'm so surprised. So we're gonna let this one ripen, I think, on the counter, and then we'll see what the deal is. If it is indeed sweet, uh, they ripen from the inside out. Again, so these are not, I mean, they're not technically fall fruits. Maybe we should change the title of this video away from fall fruits and maybe we'll include the summer, late summer fruits, right? Um, these raspberries are going to come in very soon. I'm surprised how late they are. Usually they're going to, they come in sometime in August, uh, early August, and we're now at mid-August. So I'm surprised that we're a few weeks behind and I really do attribute that to 
the heat here in the soil, even though they are in a raised bed, I've had them in a one foot high raised bed and that all that extra heat units they get is amazing. It goes a long way towards these raspberries producing a ton of fruit um, and at an earlier date. So they'll continue pretty much, I would, I would imagine very soon. This raspberry here probably is not that far away, maybe two weeks, maybe even less. Um, once they set their raspberries, they're really only about 30, 20 something days away, I think. Just going off of uh, my best little estimate. So we'll see these very soon and, and they're, they're plentiful. You know, the, the Caroline's probably the biggest winner of these fall raspberries. We'll see if I get any other colors, but that's really special to me is these raspberries coming in here late in the season, getting a harvest. And then, as I said, I was talking about that peach in the front of the house. It's called Indian Free, and that one ripens sometime in September. So I'll get peaches and stone fruits later in the season. Maybe not technically the fall, but here's a, my jujubes that I mentioned. We have, I think, a sugar cane in the ground here and a lee. Pretty sure this guy back here is a lee. I've been thoroughly impressed, not necessarily with the fruit set because there is very little, if any, on these trees. I'm not sure if there's even a single fruit over here. Um, kind of weird how they behaved, but I'm, I'm giving them a couple years to get themselves acclimated to this spot. But this has got a great form, this tree. This sugar cane here really does look great. Um, I've seen people really struggle with the long, lanky branches that they can get, and then they don't really seem to grow outwards that much. This tree looks fantastic. I'm really impressed with it. Like I said, overall, the form I think is wonderful. So very little pruning has to be done on this tree, and I think next year it's gonna be so big I may have to watch out. You know what's weird as well is that it just keeps flowering too. The flowers just don't seem to stop. It just kept flowering continually throughout the year. The flowers never produced any fruit. And I find it very odd because both of these varieties, Lee and Sugarcane, seem to be weird in their fruiting habits. One year they'll produce a lot, the next year they won't. The next year they will, the next year they won't. Maybe it's, you know, biennial in their habit. I'm not sure, but it's just, it's just strange. Um, I don't know. It's worth observing, I think, more about this. I may have to come in here and prune this one back because it's kind of encroaching into this Rosianca persimmon. And I'd much rather have more Rosianca persimmons than jujubes, to be perfectly honest with you. But it is fruiting, this guy. Uh, oddly enough, it has dropped a lot of fruits for many, many years, but it's hung on to finally hung on to some of them here. So it's really great to see. In the front here, I'm not really seeing many at all. And I was pretty disappointed until I kind of went around to the back. The shadier side of the tree has a lot more to show. So there's some right there. Couple more there. Overall, not a very productive tree for how old it is and how big it is. It just seems to love to drop persimmons as they all do at, uh, at younger ages. And really isn't until about year seven, they kind of get their act together. This side of the tree has got quite a bit, so I'm happy to see that. Um, now this peach here, before I end the video, is uh, the Indian Free. You can see these peaches are really far away from doing their thing. So the Alberta is definitely next. That one's going to be swelling and getting larger, turning color, like I said, probably the next couple weeks. Whereas this Indian Free is maybe even four to five weeks away and uh, puts us definitely later in the season. And for my money, it's definitely the best tasting peach. And maybe. It really depends on where you guys live, but 
you might see a lot less rot or different problems at that time of the year um, later in the season. So, you know, could be a good thing that that thing ripens later. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this apple. Definitely gonna eat it. We'll see how this pear works out. And uh, I hope to see you guys soon for the next one. I mean, there's so much food that can be grown all different times of the year, but I've been in a little bit of a drought right now. Not with the rain, but with the fruit. And a lot of my berry plants ripened really well into July. And then from middle of July till about mid-August now, I've been really in some kind of food fruit drought. And I think the best way I could have really resolved that was to have more things like this Marion berry, more blackberries. Maybe I could have had some early apples that have been ripe, that would be ripening right now, like I've had in the past. The plums have been quite a disappointment and that's probably contributing some. Um, that's about it. I really would like to expand this section of my season. So we're gonna think about in the future, trying to fill this gap. I really filled in the rest of the season pretty well with different fruits, um, especially early in the season from about mid to late May, all the way to middle of July is just packed with all these berries, packed with all these fruits. I eat really well from that time and that, those times of the year. So obviously I could focus more on the garden, which I should, but I neglect. But yeah, guys, that was the fall garden tour. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Fall garden tour, what am I saying? It was the fall, <laughs> late summer, fall orchard tour. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you for the next one. Take care.